Hey guys, this is Dee from GameXTC and today we're gonna to go through the complete installation process for Dolphin. So if you wanna be able to play your favorite Switch and Wii games on your PC, then you're in the right place. Mamma mia, it's me, Mario. Let's go. The first thing you wanna do is head over to Dolphin's website. The link's in the description and then click Download Dolphin 2503A, which would then navigate you to the download page. Now, as I'm running Windows, I'm gonna choose to download the Windows version, which is Windows X64. At the time of recording this video, the latest version was 2503A. Now, as I've downloaded Dolphin, you can now see it on my desktop. Using an application such as 7-Zip, the link's in the description, you want to right click and then select Extract 2. An extracted folder will then appear and you can then delete the zip folder. You can now open your unzip folder and then launch the Dolphin application. You may or may not receive a Windows protected your PC pop-up. If you do, select more info and then run anyway. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you can choose to stop, but then that will be the end of the installation process for the simulator. But as this is a trusted source, I personally feel comfortable continuing with the download. And if you do choose to continue, then your Dolphin will launch. As this is the first time that you're using the Dolphin emulator, you will receive a pop-up that's asking you, do you authorize Dolphin to report information to Dolphin's developers? You can select either yes or no, and then you will be in the Dolphin emulator. Now, the first thing we need to do is double click so that we can set the game's directory. And for the avoidance of doubt, the game's directory is the folder where your games are stored. I've called my GameCube and Wii, and then I've clicked select. Now the initial load is in a list view. And to be quite honest, I think I prefer the grid view. So what you wanna do here is click config, then interface, and you should be able to see the option that says download game covers. And we select this option because we also want cover art in our grid view. So you check the checkbox and then click close. Finally, you then wanna to go to view and then select grid view. And not only have all your titles loaded in a grid format, you can also see the cover art. So let's now do a few tweaks. You wanna head over to graphics. We're gonna change the back end to Vulkan, which offers higher performance and more efficient CPU and GPU usage. Adapter will pick up your existing graphics card. I'm gonna select the aspect ratio of 16 by nine, to avoid any tears, I'm gonna select VSync, and then I'm gonna check the checkbox to start in full screen. Once we're happy with those changes, we then go into enhancements. We want to change the internal resolution to 1080p, anti-aliasing to two times MSAA, and the texture filtering to two times anisotropic. Once complete, we then click close. The final piece of the configuration will now be the controllers. Click controllers, configure, and as I'm using a DualSense controller, you wanna select device and select DualSense. To map your buttons, all you have to do is select that button on the UI and then press the button on your controller. This emulator works with Xbox One controllers, PS5 controllers, and also PS4. Well, those are the ones I tested it with. And if you're unsure as to how to connect a PS5 controller to your PC, then check out our other video. It'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do so. Once configured, you can then click close. Now that the GameCube controller is configured, let's go onto the Wii. Now you've got a few options here. If you want to use a real Wii controller, what you wanna do is select Wii Remote 1 and change it to real Wii remote. For this to work, you'll require a wireless sensor dolphin bar, which will connect to your PC via USB, and then you can use your original Nintendo Wii remote and nunchuck. It's pretty straightforward. However, if you're using a PS5 controller or an Xbox controller, you want to leave Wii remote to emulated Wii remote, and then select configure. And as I'm using a DualSense controller, you wanna select device and select DualSense. To map your buttons, all you have to do is select that button on the UI and then press the button on your controller. Once configured, you then select configuration extension just underneath extension. You configure your nunchuck and then click close. Now that everything's complete, let's take a look at the GameCube version of Mario Kart Double Dash. And as you can see, it looks good, it runs smooth and the controller works as expected. So now let's take a look at the Resident Evil on the Wii. And it's exactly the same. It looks good, it runs smooth, and the controller works as one would expect. 
So guys, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.